Welcome to Brian Beeler's Round Em Up. You heard it right. We're back again tonight. For sale. 10K and under. 1963 through 1973 Ford Rancheros. The search cost comes from multiple subscribers. And like these subscribers, if there's a classic car you're looking for, it's free to subscribe to the channel and drop in the comments below the make and model you're looking for. We'll round them up for you. thought this would be a cool search to follow up the El Caminos we just did last night. So let's get started. And again, if you're new to the channel, this is not the only Ranchero for sale. It's going to be the one that I would go get. It's my pick of the day out of the ones we did find listed for sale. And I also included in a couple bonus picks again tonight. So we might start doing that all the time with a couple bonus picks at the end of the search. So it's going to be Facebook, Marketplace, and Craigslist. I don't own any of the cars. I don't make up the prices. I've just simply put them in price order from lowest to highest to ten grand. So first one right here is going to start us off. Craigslist, Los Angeles, 1972 Ford Ranchero, a thousand bucks. It's been posted for four days. Can't get there fast enough to drive it back home through the desert. What can I say? A thousand bucks, man. That's cheap. In the area, looking for one? It's a salvage title. So it's good parts. I mean, for a thousand bucks? Hell, it might even have an engine in it. Check him out. Title's in his name. It does have a title. It's a good way to start to a thousand bucks, right? Gonna be a 1965 Ford Ranchero project. Eleven hundred bucks four days ago, Arizona. So this project, lots of parts here, has been converted to a five log, clean title. Firm, eleven $1 hundred bucks. Looks like a great price. Looks like it's missing a wheel and they got some kind of hitch hooked up to the front of it. I have no idea. They're sitting on a trailer. Might be fun to load it up, but it's cheap. It's eleven $1 hundred dollars. Four days, Arizona. Unlike the El Caminos, look a lot of these are on the west coast. Gonna be a nineteen sixty six Ford Ranchero here, twenty two fifty. Arizona. So it's twenty five hundred to make offer. Manual trans. I believe it's a manual trans with a V eight. There you go. That's a cool one. Arizona for twenty two fifty. Sixty six ranchero. Been out here for twenty seven days. Only got like three or more days and it'll be deleted. So check him out. If he doesn't repost it, it won't be on here when you look it up. So that's why you want to ring that notification bell. Watch searches as soon as they come out. But unlike the El Caminos, a lot of these cars Seemed like they were all on the West Coast, and we didn't see a lot for over ten grand even. It'd be a 1969 Ford Ranchero. We're still on Craigslist. Twenty five hundred bucks. Nineteen days ago, it's gonna be Massachusetts. Sixty nine Ranchero, originally from California. Three hundred two V eight C four automatic, seventy percent rust free and runs. Have a Massachusetts title. Need some patching. Should know how to weld if purchase. So need some patches. They're saying. Well, pictures he shows look pretty good. So he's got a set of slots on it. Car looks great. I don't know about the seats they threw in there. It does look like they threw some kind of oddball seats in there with some crazy headrests. So on to Facebook Marketplace, 1966 for Ranchero. 2500 bucks still. This a week ago. This one's in Georgia. It's a 66. I don't like the big wheels. Missing a fender. Tell me how bad you want one. It was listed a week ago. It's twenty five hundred dollars. Could use it for parts or project car. That's all you get for a description. Nineteen seventy three Ford Ranchero Texas here twenty five hundred bucks. Can't get there fast enough. If titles don't matter, because that's going to be the deal on this. No title. Complete car. Has motor trans. Was told it run. Good and straight. Body has rust inside. No title. Bill sale only. Seen that coming. That pretty arrest me resale red. On to another one. 1973 Ford Ranchero. 2500 bucks. Listed four weeks ago. Alabama. This car looks good too. Like those hubcaps. I like how dirty that interior was. Pretty moldy. So it's a very solid project. It's a roller. No motor. No trans. Needs floor pans replaced. Ask 2500 Best offer. Again. No title. Back at Craigslist, 1972 Ford Ranchero GT 2600. Three days ago, I love the hood. So a badass hood on this one. Back bumper's all crushed up, missing the grill. I like the baby blue, too. This was a cool car. It's Arkansas. Purchased the car years ago itself to rebuild with a link, an air ride or something. That's what it says. 
So the windshield's toast. It's got the rear GT door panels. And they're in good condition. Title status missing. This 1964 Ranchero, 2,900 bucks, three days ago. Again in Arizona. Looked like Arizona was the state. California, Arizona. Everybody drove these out there from the East Coast and left them. Didn't find many on the East Coast at all. 2,900 bucks, three days ago. This one does have a title. So let's bring a trailer. Rust in the floor pans. 64. 1968 here Ford Ranchero three grand back on the marketplace Texas no motor no transmission he has a title loving the sounds of that it's in Texas with a title had bucket seats in it it's like a decent project for sure for three grand I'm digging it if it's what you're looking for definitely go check that one out great prices starting to be starting to see some really decent cars for the money right here 1974 ford ranchero 3500 bucks south carolina if it's what you're looking for you can't get there fast enough but that's the problem there's not a lot of people looking for these rancheros which is benefit uh, if you're digging them you're going to get one at a great price compared to what you see other classic cars 5500 best offer to daily driver great start to a project or a daily driver is what it said be a 68 ranchero fair lane 500 5000 that's what we've made it up to is five grand this car looks absolutely great i don't like the seats but i'm liking all that trim looks like a great car clean title call steve it's got steve's phone number it's a clean title what more do you need to know runs drives great yep Krager wheels front and rear didn't show you the Krager wheels that's what we're checking out man you're in Washington State looking for a cool 68 Ranchero we found you one right there it's got the GT grill I don't know if it was a GT or not I didn't read it out 1964 Ford Ranchero five grand again Colorado a day ago this car looks beautiful look at the prices and the cars we're seeing that's what blows my mind how other classic cars sell for so much money when you can go buy yourself a nice classic car for definitely under ten grand. I think we see you with some all the time for under five grand. My point right here, it's been here a day. Needs a clutch, clean title, five grand. Didn't show you under the hood, so it's a six cylinder, three speed manual. On the column. I love it. Gonna be a nineteen seventy Ford Ranchero, fifty five hundred bucks, twenty two weeks ago. Again, Washington, only one pitcher. Unlike Craigslist, one picture, you can still look up people's profiles. You can see if it's a definite scam or not. It's got his phone number in it, so you can definitely call this guy. He just put one photo in his ad. It'll be a 1965 Ford Ranchero, 59.99, 22 days ago. So it'll be on here for another week. Looks like it's been sitting a long time. Looks like it's in pretty good, solid condition. California, Los Angeles area, looking for a 65 Ranchero. That's pretty cheap, under six grand, right? We're at 6,500 now. Inland Empire, California, 1972 Ford Ranchero GT. All right, it's 72. It's a cool car. It's only got two photos. They're really horrible pictures. No idea how he plans on selling it for 6,500 with those two photos, but that's what he's giving you. Just showing you where they're at, how long they've been posted for sale. And as of the 14th, they're all currently listed for sale. 1966 Ford Ranchero with two R's. $6,500 listed a week ago, Alabama. It's like a decent car too. So he's got some floor pan patches for the seats already laying in there. You don't need to hear your comments. So evidently people are telling him it's overpriced. So it's got a beautiful dash in it. I don't know if he doesn't have a, a title. I'd be on board with all the people saying it's overpriced. 1965 Ford Ranchero stock. 6800 bucks. Listed five weeks ago, Texas. And I know some of you guys are in states that don't need titles. And that's good for you. It's not for us guys that are in states that need a title. Otherwise, we can't plate the vehicle. I mean, it's great for a drag car. Two Rancheros here. 65 and a 66. And it says they have Texas titles. So you want two for one, 6,800 bucks. Can't get there fast enough. They're in Texas. Been on here for five weeks. There's your titles. 
and a V8 in that one. I believe it said 289. Got to dig that. I know I was trying to find a 289. You couldn't touch those blocks for like under $800. There's an $800 engine in it. Three grand a car? Tell me. Gonna be a 1971 Ford Ranchero. $69.99. We're up to three days ago. 71 Ranchero with a 351 Cleveland in this one. Rebuilt, power steering, power brakes, AC not connected, new battery, needs a new fuel line of the tank, and paint. That's what it says. Green interior. Green exterior. I don't like the wheels at all. But it looks like a big block runner. With the clean title. In California, Los Angeles area. Listed in Los Angeles on Craigslist. Another Craigslist, Oregon here. So it's classic. And that's how you'd want to punch it in. Oregon, punch in classic. Seven grand, it'll come up. It's been out here for two weeks. Got some brand new trailer wheels on it. Nice clean engine. I don't like the seat. But other than the bench seat they put in there, just don't like the material. I guess they'd have thrown her just a different cover over it. I mean, it looks like it's out of like a Delta 88 or something. No idea. I love the original steering wheel in there still. I like the car. It's got a lot of nice pieces on this car for seven grand. Two weeks ago, 67 Ford must sell. 7000 or best offer. Oregon. San Francisco Bay Area here, 1964 Ford Ranchero. 8500 bucks. Got some primer shot all over it. Arrest Me Resale Red with the V8. So it's got 302 C4 Trans, power steering, new exhaust, new Aldebrock manifold, 600 CFM carb, good tires, everyday driver. See you right, everyday driver, 8,500 bucks. A little bit of touch up on that resale red. You're going to car shows. 8,500. There's been some good deals on here. If you're looking for a Ranchero, I couldn't really knock you know, what you're trying to buy. The prices compared to other classic cars, good choice. Ranchero is definitely a great choice. 1963, same as the El Caminos. Just cars are overlooked and underpriced compared to other classics. Listed three days ago, Georgia here. Love the Kragers. This thing looks great. Other than a primer they shot on the door. Nice interior. Car looks great. Had that cheap ass Seagate shifter in there. The plastic handle I was talking about that snaps right off and your fist goes into the dash. Yeah, man. I've had a couple of those. They're garbage. I love the puppies in the back. If they come with the car, you're stealing it for 8800 right? Like two baby pit bulls. Would say boxers, but this one looks too fun. Too light colored to be boxers. Gonna be a 1966 Ford Falcon Ranchero 9250. California. Been posted 11 days. I love this one. Maybe some hubcaps. There's some chrome beauty rings. Lug nuts. Chrome lug nuts on there. Got a floor shift in it. Manual. Says 8 cylinder. 289. With the 3 speed. Got the Hurst Andy manual shifter. Bluetooth radio. No leaks. All the lights work. Battery. And cables and starter and ring gear, all that stuff's probably new or replaced. Check him out. 11 days ago, this car looks beautiful. Got the black California plate. I'm digging it, man. What a cool car for under 10 grand. And that was our cutoff, was 10 grand. It's gonna be 1966 Ford Ranchero, 9300, five days ago, Alabama. Tell me this thing don't look beautiful. So I don't know if they just finished wet sanding it or what, but it's definitely wet in that picture. But it looks like brand new paint. And it looks like brand new bottom side. So rotisserie, sprayed, sandblasted, sprayed, probably. Look like inside the bed was still in primer. I'm loving it, man. $9,300, though. You can see how they set that rear end up. Something you're digging, check him out. It's got a nice little description on it. 9300 or best offer. We're going to cut it off at the next one. Going to be Los Angeles again. I can't believe how many of these we found in the California, Los Angeles area. 1965 Ford Falcon Ranchero, 9500 bucks, And still under ten grand. And like drive it to the car shows. I don't like the aluminum 
trailer wheels, but the car looks beautiful. I don't like the high headrest in there either, but that's me. It's a beautiful looking car for under 10 grand. There's a description. I want to read it out. It's 302 automatic in this one. Rust free. Head on to my pick of the day. It's going to be this one right here. 1965 Ford Ranchero. Four grand. It's been here for 20 weeks. Arizona. But with a pick like that, how do you not give it the pick of the day? You see it. It's a 65 Ford Ranchero gas. Or Arizona gets the pick. We never give Arizona the pick. So first time of the year, they definitely got the pick of the day on this one. And it was the gasser that got me. I just, man, that's cool as hell. I love the wheels. I love the stance. This thing is sick. So with all that said, this is like a specifically not for everybody. I mean, got an old garage or repair shop. This thing would be cool just sitting out front with some gold leaf, hand brushed name of your shop on it for advertising. Four grand, you can't even buy a sign for your shop for that. Stick it up on the roof if you want. Just sit it out front, personally. Cool car. Beautiful road trip to go get it. Enjoy the vacation. Definitely go pick it up. He does say delivery is possible. 65 Ford Ranchero Gasser Project. Good start to a street car or race car. Solid car. A straight axle in the front. Has a 9-inch in the rear. Have a grill and bezels for the car. Roll cage. Needs installed along with some parts. Fair price of four grand or best offer. Clean Arizona title ready to go. So this thing has a title too. So there you go. I didn't have to read it out to tell you it's my pick of the day. I'm just wanting to build me a gasser. And this thing's a beautiful start. So like I said at the beginning, I did include a couple extra bonus picks on here today. This first one's not even a Ford. But it's for all those Mopar guys that think they can't afford a Mopar no more or B-Body landing. It'll be 1969 Dodge Coronet, 4800 bucks six days ago. For one of the Mopar guys looking for a B body. There you go. Here's one. Clean title, 69 Dodge Coronet, 318 car. Everything that comes with it is pictured. Solid car, no rust through the trunk. Floor pans are solid. Have a title in hand. Excuse me. I'm digging it, man. It's early production 69 too. You can tell how the round cut out around the gas spout. If it had been a later production, like after 21,000 or whatever it is, it'd be an oval. Because cars were getting rear-ended, this was shearing this off the gas tank. So a later production will have an oval hole in the tail pan. It's not a Charger. It's not a Roadrunner. It's a Coronet. And I think cloned as a Super B, worth more than any of those other cars you're going to get right now. So a lot of parts in there. You've seen some stuff laying inside of it. Look like a 7B grill laying there. But a lot of parts you're definitely going to want to make sure you take when you're there taking this car. Because guys just want way overpriced prices for junk. So definitely make sure you get them taillights and the steering wheel. On to my last bonus pick. That's more just something I would go grab. 1964 Mercury Cyclone. 4200 bucks listed three days ago. West Virginia. So it's not that far to me actually go get it. Actually, I would like to go get it, but I didn't sell my Blue Sky. And here it is. Show it to all of you. Maybe one of you can go buy it. See all the work that's already been done in this thing right here? This thing is sick. Man. You want to put a big block 429 in one? So 264 Mercury Comets, black and red, set up for EF Ford with the pretty shock tower kit, which is absolutely awesome. Put a lot of room in here for exhaust. Says no center section. Parts car comes with and has a title. Black car is a cyclone. Extra doors to go with it. So you're not getting a cyclone title. Parts car. So this one that they ripped the doors, the whole front clip off of. So it's hard to say if they wrecked this race car and then tossed the whole new front end back on it. You'd have to check that out when you get there to look at it. But I do like that it's tubbed up. They said it had about a 9 inch Ford rear end in it. Loving that. Not going to break the rear end. A lot of parts. And there's your parts car. Still got the 289 in it. So. Beautiful trunk areas too, man. As many of these as I've seen where the whole back panel's rotted through. Can't get there fast enough. That's a badass car, man. For $4,200. It's the one I'd go buy. I know it was a Ranchero search, but man, I'd go buy that one. I bought so many of these damn things already, thanks to us doing this round on Lovesen. It's all thanks to all you. 
keeping me inspired to work on old classic cars because you can still find affordable cool stuff you don't have to go spend twenty thirty thousand for some carcass that's going to cost you another forty thousand to put it together and, and who even knows if you got the skill set to do it so it's my opinion you know and this ain't like it's gonna be a walk in the park this could be a real tough challenge for people that's never built a car me we could have this running in a weekend depending on how bad this front frame was all busted up which you didn't show you inside there at all and that's just my guess that it was wrecked before hit him up somebody go save that one put it back on the track thanks for watching everybody appreciate every one of you all the ones that have subscribed and hit the thumbs ups and all the new subscribers all of our old subscribers i appreciate every single one of you nobody's been hating on the channels no thumbs downs so i don't know what i got to do to piss people off to hate the channel again but love y'all be good stay safe peace out